right, gang. I think we're hooked up. We've been out fishing hard all day long. And this pole just got knocked. Oh yeah, he's still on. Welcome back to the channel. It is Sunday afternoon. It is late in the day. We have been fishing hard all day. Up to this point, we have caught nothing. But I'm hoping as the sun comes down, the bite's gonna turn on. We forgot to do an intro, so I'm doing it now. If you guys like this kind of content, anything saltwater related, go ahead and smash that subscribe button. Like the video if you do enjoy it. The one you all know and love, it's a beautiful Julie. She is back there behind me at the cart, holding court. So we're gonna put some baits back in the water and we're gonna try to get on a few fish, y'all. Let's go. So we would show you exactly what we're using. We have these 11 foot Ninja Daggers. These are the Pen Battle 4000 series reels. 5000. Some of them are four, some of them are five. And then we're just using Pompano rigs, double drops. Top we have some OP soaked bait made by fish gum. That is a new fish gum strip. On the bottom of this rig, I have go shrimp that I tied on with magic thread and some fish bites, lime green. When collecting go shrimp as bait, we head over into the sound or bays. We look for little mounds, typically with a hole in the center. Use a ghost shrimp pump. Some of them are made out of PVC. We've used those before. Currently, we have a really nice stainless steel one. And we just literally stick it on top of that mound and start pumping. The most helpful thing I can tell you all is to pump that hole more than once. We tend to pump five to six times each hole. You'll find multiple go shrimps. It'll make it so much easier on yourselves if you pump down deep. And then just wait till that water clears and start scooping them up. Now these, you can hear that aerator going, the bubbler going. Those are the go shrimp. Simple five gallon bucket. Just picked it up at Walmart, maybe Lowe's. Uh, that is the salt water from right where we grabbed them at. We keep the aerator going. This one, Brent had the bright idea because we were running through batteries to get a um, fish tank aerator. So we can plug it in, save ourselves some batteries. Now when we go to the beach, sometimes we live them in the bucket, but we do um, for sure, if we go in the boat, because it'll get warm on the boat, put them in that live bait cooler with a bubbler going. And that's First it. drops in the water. We keep our lines locked, basically, as tight as they can be before we toss them out. It seems to help keep things straight, gets further distance. Then when we're done, you set them down, loosen that line. Don't forget to loosen that line. That's an important little tip there. <laughs> But we'll get this out in the water. Look how clear this water is today. It's absolutely gorgeous. Haven't seen water this clear in a while. Good, made it out to the deep. We're just gonna get that sinker to grab hold of that bottom so your bait's not moving too much and then here we go we are loosening that line all right gang we are hooked up on the first fish of the day it broke it broke oh, yep just got sharks this isn't even the cut bait i can't believe you shut it off i'm totally agitated we need to do like shark 
shark. All right, guys, we're getting ready to do our bait swap. Julie just pulled a ghost shrimp out of the bucket. She's going to go ahead and hook it on the hook. Well, no, I pulled the claws off first. Julie pulls the claws off. They Because she doesn't like to get pinched. They're nasty little pinchers. By the tail, there's a little bit of a harder spot on these bodies. So I go through the tail, turn it back around, go in the head portion, and they're on there. Unfortunately, they don't tend to stay on. They're very flimsy bait. So we take some of this magic thread. I just picked this one up at the bait shop and wrap it around. That's it. And then all we do when you're done wrapping, super easy, pull it off. We'll get this in the water. Hopefully it's appealing. All right, gang. I think we're hooked up. We've been out fishing hard all day long. And this pole just got knocked. Oh yeah, he's still on. He is still on. Hopefully it's gonna be an end of the evening bite, gang. We have been fishing hard, hard, hard. Surf fishing in Florida has not been conducive. It has not been kind to us. This will actually be the first fish that we've put on the beach here in a minute. She said she doesn't have any idea what it is. <clears throat> Crossing over the rides, guys. Have not caught a glimpse of it yet. Here he comes. Here he is. Ooh, Pompano. Oh, that's your PB. Woo! That's your PB pump. Gang, that thing's a giant. That thing's an absolute tank. Oh, we have been out here for hours. Holy cow, y'all. That's what we came for. Yeah, that's a. All right, he hit ghost shrimp. Yep, he hit the ghost shrimp. Fish bites. On the bottom draft. Yep. Let's get him to the cart. Get him undone. <laughs> you know the sad thing is? I just said to, said to Brett, I'm like, we should just pack it in and go home. Yeah, that's probably about 16. Easy. Yeah. He's, he's good. Now I gotta go down and watch my phone. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully that means everybody's just, getting yeah, it. I just wanted to see a pop in there. I haven't seen one in so long. I haven't either. I haven't either. Look at, look at Carl, there's fish here. <laughs> what I should have said was somebody's going to catch a pompano. That's a nice oh, fish. Yeah, We're going to get them yeah. measured up. We've got to catch a couple more. Check this out, y'all. The beach full of, or a beach full of fishermen today. You need a... Heck yeah. He's gonna be at least 15. I gotta I gotta believe it's not oh, more, more if not more that. than that. Alright. Zero to the fork. Fifteen and a half. Fifteen and a half, guys. Heck yeah. Alright, we're not bleeding them. We're gonna enter them. Yeah, we're gonna weigh that guy. At least getting the female side yeah. of it. There you go. Yes. What I should have said we was somebody too. was going to catch a fish before 4:30, and said <laughs> I was going to catch a fish by 4:30. Did you say you do that to my ibuprofen? Yes. See, you're <laughs> hurting now. <laughs> you didn't need more ibuprofen, dude. You didn't need some aloe. <laughs> Definitely aloe. Definitely. All right, we'll do it. Well, again. let me get him some medicine. You guys, I told you, February is the slowest month of fishing here in the Panhandle. All of us fishermen are struggling to get on them. Today we were fortunate, found that one pump. I'm gonna take it, weighing in at our local bait shop just to get my name on the board. Bring it home, Brent's gonna fillet it. I'm gonna cook it up. We'll see you at the house. All right guys, we just got off the beach, pulled into Gulf Breeze Bait and Tackle. We'll run inside and get this pump and I'll weight up real quick. What's up, man? Go ahead. 
took ladies division. Yep. All right, guys, we just finished weighing the fish, 2.56. Currently puts her third in the overall division and first in the ladies division. So gonna get back out to the beach and upgrade. Hopefully. It has been a very long day of fishing. Took that um, pump in to get weighed at Golf Breeze Bait and Tackle. And now Brent is doing a little filleting. It's late. We've been fishing all day, so my wife's letting me clean in the kitchen. <laughs> so I don't have to stand in the dark. Make an extra it. mess outside and clean up two things. So we'll clean it up and we'll get it cooked. So I start with the first cut right behind the head. I go down to the pooper. And then I just run my knife down the backbone just a little bit to get it started. Once I get to the bottom, I'll go through and come all the way out the end. Do you want to tell them what type of knife you're using? This is a Dexter. Basically, I just get it open to the point where I can work it, and then I just run my knife right down the back, the backbone, and let the let the knife do the work and try not to poke through the other side. Now, usually when we're on the beach, we do bleed the fish, um, but we couldn't today because every little ounce counts. You just work the knife all the way down. As you can see, got most of the, most of the meat. I've been known to leave a little bit here and there, but I don't claim to be a professional fish cleaner. It's professional. And then once I get world. through, I just run the knife down and there we go. And we'll just rinse that off. And we're going to do a real simple recipe because it's getting very late. We're both starving and honestly, we're tired. I'm sure you guys know that feeling. Being out in the sun, the wind, the beautiful beaches all day. Typically, we would just be doing this tomorrow. But... Brent's we're tired. Out. Yeah, Brent's going out of town tomorrow. So... I convinced him, let's cook it up real quick so he can enjoy that pompano too. A lot of people cook them with skin on. Tonight I'm going to take it off. We're just going to pan sear this stuff, do a little blackened seasoning. Um, if you cook them on the grill, you leave the skin on. It's really good. Very good. But we're trying to be quick. We're being lazy. <laughs> we were on the beach for like 10 hours. I think we're entitled to be lazy. So there's fillet number one. We'll get the other side done. I'm gonna cut these bones out. We'll be ready for the pan. All I did is on one side, and now I'm gonna do the second side, just simple Old Bay seasoning. I sprinkle a little bit on there. I put some olive oil in the pan. You can hear it starting to sizzle. That's when we know the fish is ready to go on. But first, I like a little butter in there. Get, you know, you can never go wrong with butter. And then I'm gonna take it. Oh yeah, that's, that's the sound of magic right there. Just a few minutes each side, white and flaky. That's all we need. So I would say some of these cuts are probably gonna be about three, four minutes. This little piece here, two minutes. Time to flip these. Been on for about two and a half, three minutes. Yeah, that's the way I like it. A little bit of crust on the edge. This middle is gonna be nice and tender. A little bit of goldenness going on in that pan. We'll get them finished cooking, and we'll get back to you when we try it. Julie's excited. That's the best part. Especially when you haven't ate all day long because you've been fishing hard. Okay, gang, food is on the table. My wife successfully put dinner on the table for me again. It was a long day of fishing. It was a good day of fishing. And it's only going to get better from here on out because the winter has been brutal. <laughs> if you guys enjoyed this video, do me a favor. Big thumbs up. 
Subscribe to the channel if you have not already. And until next time. Keep it real. Lambo wants you to keep it real. <laughs>